Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball 12 box random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. As you saw, the first 20 have a shot at that early bird spot. So different dice roll there. So let's grab dice, let's roll it, let's randomize it eight times. Name on top after eight gets the extra spot. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, congrats Joe, Joe Flores, with the bonus spot. The early bird, is one of the earliest of birds, catches the worm. So there you go, Joe, an extra spot for you. So now let's assign you a random team, you and everybody. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, four. All right, so after four, Levi down to Josh. And then hard four for the teams. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we've got the Miami Marlins down to the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, so Levi with the Marlins, Andrew with the Brew Crew, James with the Strohs, Matt with the Padres, Carlos with the Indians, Jason K with the A's, Shane with the Rays, John with the Royals, Nancy with the Rockies, Joe with the Twins, Mark with the Red Sox, Joe with the Blue Jays, David with the Phillies, Brandon with the Mets, Eric with the Cardinals, Matt with the Braves and Reds. Laura, you got the Yankees, Adam with the Tigers, Michael Gluchy with the Diamondbacks, Roy with the Giants, Matt with the White Sox, Michael with the Rangers, Matt with the uh, Mariners, David with the Angels, Roy with the Cubs, Joe, last spot mojo, or not, early bird spot mojo. We got my Dodgers. Joe Lancaster with the O's, Joe F with the Nats, and Josh with the Pittsburgh Pirates, last spot. He has the last spot mojo. That's why the little star is next to his name. All right, let's sort by column B. That font better? Times New Roman? Going with a serif font. Hey! Uh, maybe. Cambria. Anyway, anyone uh, anyone trading? Remember we uh, popped open that master case and we did L first, the left side first. That's the R for the right side. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to, again, see if there's any trades and then we'll break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades. Some trade offers, but no deals were done here on Wednesday the 10th. Brand new release day, a diamond day. We've got diamond kings and diamond icons. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Let's make it a diamond day. So remember, once again, there's the letter R right there for the right side. So let's pop this open right here. And TJ, what's going on? We got two TJs in the house now. All right, so you can see on my camera and the top camera, you can see all 12 boxes right there. All right, four stacks of three boxes. All right. Good luck. This uh, TJ Watt, JJ Watt, Derek Watt Subway commercial is, I know it's a baseball rig, but that Subway commercial, do you think that's their real mom? Or do you think that's fake mom? Stage mom. Actor mom. I wonder. All the... Uh, Man, boy, was I fooled. Back in the day, the Campbell Soup commercials, right? All those, all those are fake moms. 
I was like, oh, that's really Donovan McNabb's mom. That's really Saquon's mom. That's AJ Hawk's mom. Campbell's Chunky Suit commercial. Not all actors. Fake moms. Landon Nimmer says, wannabe moms. And Kyle's saying, hey, listen, if they can pay JJ, TJ, and don't forget Derek, they can pay off their mom too, but see, what if mom's just a terrible actor? And they're just like, she's not good for commercials. Unless she is, I don't know. All right. Well, there's our first redemption right there. Good luck, everybody. We're going to go through this a tiny bit more quickly than the previous break, now that we've got a good look at what, what this set has for us. Remember, there are... Uh, Vet Commons don't ship. Any guesses on that redemption? This set is pretty cool, too. And is that another downtown card? It is. Nice. Raphael Devers. If you've never been to Boston, that's exactly what downtown Boston looks like. True story. Mark L. with the Boston Red Sox. We saw one in the last inner case and now one in this inner case. It could be inner case hits. I don't know if they're actually traditional case hits, but maybe they're just short print enough to kind of fall that way. Patrick Sandoval, gray frame. We got 46 out of 99, Jalen Davis. That'll be for the Giants. That goes to Roy in San Francisco. I don't think Dominguez is in this. No, no Dominguez and no Witt Jr. I believe this is more rookies, vets heavy on the checklist, not necessarily prospects. We got Logan Webb, frame. Old tobacco car designs are pretty cool. Sean guessing Luis Robert. Callie, what's going on? Cal says, I dig this art, might have to look for a box. Oh man, I'm glad you mentioned that, Cal, because you can visit our personal box breaks channel. That's live right now on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks. You can find a box right there. Free shipping to anywhere in the United States. We can ship to you sealed if you wanted to. You can open it yourself. Or you can have Jason Jaspi rip it open for you on Instagram Live. You don't have to look for a box. I found it for you. Oh, should we do the uh, redemption? ABC, always be closing, folks. All right. Diamond Kings. We've got DK Original Signatures Hollow Gold. What is that number two? 25 maybe? And the player is C, C-L-A, Claire, Clayton, Clayton Kershaw? Wow. So, hey, come on, Clayton, sign your cards, Kersh. But that's a nice Clayton Kershaw for Joe Flores. And the Dodgers. Dodger Joe Mojo, an early bird mojo. It pays to be an early bird, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Plenty of time to redeem it as well. All right, now let's open up this box right here, box two in Random Team 2. Yeah, I don't know why cards are even redemptions at all, especially for these, for the veteran players. They know the drill. They, they have probably far fewer cards to sign than rookies. I think Kershaw should be sitting at his home, either in L.A. or Texas. Oh, 
and uh, signing cards. Not like he can go anywhere, right? Got 38 minutes until the draft, ladies and gentlemen. That might be right at the end of this. Uh, at the end of this break, we, first round might be starting. I don't know if I timed it right. I was trying to get the first pick on this video. Maybe I'll have to slow it down just a tiny bit. Wow, that's the first. I was going to say, that's a black frame. That's different. That's a one of one. Roberto Almar, Toronto Blue Jays. In case you were wondering, yes, those frames can be numbered. Joe Flores, again, Blue Jays. Wow. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. So far, so good for Joe. How long for a redemption? Yeah, um, that I mean, a lot of times that depends on the player, how quickly they want to return those cards to Panini. But then again, the pandemic probably delayed a lot of things too. So at this point, I don't know. Jersey King Craig Biggio. Is that Howard at a restaurant? And we got Anthony K, another Toronto Blue Jay for Joe Flores. The Biggio, of course, goes to James Teal and the Astros. And the dual relic and autograph for Joe. So far, so good. Great start for him. And Sean Corbett did a little research. He says that Kershaw is 20 out of 25. Nice, Joe Flores. That is strong. These packs are a little slippery. I might need a I might need some uh, I might need some chalk like LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Chalk up the hands. I'm assuming Monet, Monet Davis is being interviewed right now. I'm, I'm assuming she's playing playing college ball. Curtis, what's up? Jaspi, Fam, and I, we are holding up just fine. Thank you for asking. Things are slowly starting to open up around here, so we've been doing a little remodeling in the store. Stan Musial jersey. Nice, that's pretty cool. Eric J with the Cardinals. Game war material, nice. Yeah, COVID has not dared touch Jaspi's case breaks. We we've been free of that. Everyone's been doing their part, keeping keeping clean. We're already pretty clean, just by the nature of our jobs. We're always using our hands to handle some uh, some delicate stuff. So. We just became even extra clean. 
There's Joe Palumbo for the Rangers. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci. You got randomized Texas. Yeah, pinball machine is working. We got the we got the back panel light fixed. I think pre just just before we were shut down for the pandemic, we we had just gotten that fixed. I haven't played it in a while. Maybe I'll play that today. Yeah, Hulk. The Hulk is smashing in the Avengers pinball game. He's getting pretty good at it too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll fire it up today. All right, next up. I've only activated the, oh, that's what's called the Black Widow multi-ball in Avengers Pinball. I have, I think I've only activated that, like how many times have I played, how many rounds of Avenger Pinball have I played since we got that machine? I don't know, 50 times maybe? I think I've only gotten the multi-ball Oh, each character has a multi-ball? Okay, well, I don't know which multi-ball I got, but in general, I think I've only gotten like one or two out of like a couple dozen plays. I need more practice. But I'm starting to figure out the angles. I'm <laughs> starting to figure out the angles. Tony Gwynn, starting to figure out the way our table is set. It's possibly uneven floor, slightly. There's Tony Gwynn, quad relic for the Padres, Matt Gomes. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find a good spot for a dartboard here. I don't think we have a good spot for a dartboard. There's Jake Rogers, dual relic and autograph for the Tigers. Detroit goes to Adam Richards. That, that I know, Curtis, but what about what about home home field advantage? There are new Wendy's Rex is reporting a new Wendy's Baconator Pringles. Hmm. I'd give that a shot. Curtis says Wendy's burgers bottom tier. A and W the best? Um Is that I don't know if that's a national chain, though. I don't think I have any A&Ws. What's the best national chain, not regional chain, not local chain, best national chain fast food hamburger? Oh, right, Curtis is in Canada. A&W is national for, for Curtis. In the United States, then major major United States fast food burger chains. What's the best? Five Guys says Rex. Is Five Guys widespread enough? Maybe we just have to say the Big Four. Is there a Big Four? <laughs> McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr., Hardee's. I don't know, what would the, maybe. Yeah, so 
There's Matt Chapman. Piece of his lumber, Oakland A's, Jason K with the A's. Jack in the box might be the fourth right. Those are those are the big four. So what what's best of the of the big four? McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box. There's Nico Herner, dual relic and autograph. Curtis says Burger King is the best burger of the four. Rex likes the triple stackers. What, there's no Jack in the Box near you? Nico Herner, nice one for Roy. Hmm. I don't know when the last time I had burgers from any of those establishments. Trying to trying to get a little little healthier, but hmm. Hmm. I don't know the when the Wendy's standard burger is pretty good. I want to say McDonald's burger is not too bad either. Not not a fan of the the Burger King burger. Carl's Jr. is pretty good. Jack in the Box. I feel like their standard burger is the, the overall Jack in the Box is a little too a little too greasy for me. Wait, Curtis, you guys don't have a... A Sonic, I understand. But Curtis, a Calgary does not have a Jack in the Box? Jack in the Box needs to... Needs to get their, uh, get their act together. Increase that... Increase that international presence. What's up, Darren? Darren likes the Dairy Queen flamethrower. I don't think we have a lot. I don't know where the, our, a Dairy Queen is here in Los Angeles. No, I'm a, yeah, I'm with Cal. I'm a curly fry guy. Or a criss cut fry, a waffle fry guy. Got a Pete Alonzo quad relic. Pete Alonzo quad relic for Brandon Walker and the Mets. The first inner case uh, had a Pete Alonzo autograph, one of those T206 autographs. That was pretty slick. That was pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty nice. It was one of these T206 designs, but with a sticker autograph on there. It looked pretty cool. All right, halfway through this inner case, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving along nicely. Draft coming up in 25 minutes. I think we'll be able to get the first pick uh, right here on the recording, which will be a nice historic moment. Addison saying Jack in the Box has the best tacos. No, if I'm going fast food tacos, I would still default. I would still default to uh, Taco Bell. Where's the nearest dairy? Do we have a Dairy Queen nearby here? I don't know if we have a DQ nearby here. Yeah, there is. No. I've never been. Here we got Nick Jaspi here. I'm gonna hand a few boxes to him. All five. Wow, all of them. All right, there you go. I was telling the gang earlier, Nick, that 
some of the Photoshop mock-ups of of Diamond Kings, I was like, uh, doesn't look too good. Yeah. But thankfully, they were just Photoshop mock-ups because overall, I think it's pretty solid. I mean, especially we got NT basketball, super expensive. Diamond Icon, super expensive. This is an excellent price point mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Let me get some decent hits out of there. Bryce Harper downtown card from the first inner case. Pete Alonzo autograph in the first inner case. This one had a one of one black frame Roberto Alomar and a Raphael Devers downtown. I, know yeah, I, down I think I like everything except for when they photoshopped them to be like old players. You didn't like the, the T206 design? No. Those look better better in person, I thought. Okay. There is the Pete Alonzo autograph was a T206 Pete Alonzo auto. Is it Gaudi or T206? I don't know. I mean... Whatever. Tops, tops I think... Right T206. Yeah, I know. That's why... But Rex said the checklist calls it T206. Like DK T206. Or DK206. <laughs> so I don't know if that was just... If that was just... The checklist saying that, or if Panini's actually calling it that. Oh yeah, they do look better. Mm -hmm. You think Panini actually calls them T two hundred six? Nice Gavin Lux quad they don't relic, have the Joe to Flores. T206. What? Tops has the rights to T two hundred six, not Panini. Right. So they couldn't call it T two hundred six. Yeah. Yeah. So that they must did. that must just be the checklist calling it that. See, because group rate checklists call it DK two hundred six. Oh, that's what it's called. They just take out. They can't. They just take out the T. Yeah. That's the only thing. I guess. But they're also not. They're not also not shaped like a T two hundred six. The T two hundred six are those skinny. You had the skinny. Yeah. Cardboard connection also says they're called DK two hundred six. So maybe that's how they get around it. We got Sean Murphy, dual relic and autograph, Oakland A's, Jason K. No, I just saw a lot of the photos. They look sad in a lot of them, like that, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. It looks kind of But sad. didn't everybody look sad in those tobacco cards? Yeah. They're just like, I'm like a butcher the rest of the year, and I play baseball two months out of the year and just trying to make money. Sad. There's Eddie Murray to 99. And that's uh, Orioles is not not too many numbered serial numbered cards in this. Good. I guess with Nick's help, we're not going to get that first pick on the video, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies. That goes to Joe Lancaster and the Orioles. Who do you have going number one? Um, shortstop. Uh... You put the Jaspies rent money on it. Yeah. What's his name? Torkelson? Yeah. First baseman, I think. Yeah. Torkelson, that guy from Arizona State. Sure. All right, here's another two boxes right here. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Next box. Jason K saying yes. Oh, Jason, you might be lagging by a minute or two. Make sure you catch up. There's Juan Soto, Jersey Kings, but yeah, that's Sean Murphy. It's a nice one for you. Joe Flores with the Nats. You know Shea Gildas Alexander is related to Nikhil Alexander Walker? Absolutely, they're cousins. I say that every time I pull pull their cards. I hope you do. Every other time. So one why is there one Alexander in the middle, but then the second? One, I don't. That I don't. You're gonna have to ask the Alexander family. Is There's the a they or two color dual relic <laughs> autograph Jordan Yamamoto for Levi and the Marlins. I'm is, assuming so. Is Shea Gilgis is Gilgis part of his first name? No, first it's name? Shea. And the last name is Alexander Walker. There's Alexander Walker and Gilgis Walker. 
Wait, Shea Gilgis Alexander? Yeah. Is it Shea Gilgis Alexander or Shea Gilgis Alexander? I think one one's like maybe mom's side, dad's side, married in, and the other one's like OG Alexander or something like that. I don't know. I feel like Nikhil and Shay just did that to confuse everybody. They're like, this is going to be funny. There's Travis Demerit to uh, Adam Richards and the Tigers. There's a Mike Trout. Artist proof numbered card of 49 for the Halos. That'll be for David Duffy. Who are the Angels taking? The Angels are taking, according to the Fangraphs mock draft, the pitcher from somewhere? they are taking Reed Detmers from Louisville. Ah. Fangraphs related is to also. Ty, related to Ty Detmers? Probably. They've also heard Ed o Howard's name, that 10th spot. But he thinks that college players are more likely to be drafted. Right. Yeah, I don't think a lot of high schoolers can get drafted in this, this year's draft. Because of the coronavirus? Yeah, because it's only five rounds, too. Because they don't know if they're going to commit or what? I guess. I don't know. Or they want MLB-ready players. MLB-ready players, probably. Because they haven't done a lot of scouting, so at least they have a lot of college tape that What's they the can use. Draft? It's going to be all old people. College kids, yeah. 21-year-olds. Shohei Otani, two-color dual relic. Ooh, it might be a little bit cheaper this year. And then gets really expensive like two years later. You don't have to, you don't have to wait as long for those college kids. I don't know if people like prospecting college kids as much as 18-year-olds. Because they've already seen them? Well, and, uh, you know, maybe less prime years. Uh, true. That Otani goes to uh, David Duffy and the so Angels. Aaron, uh, she's already 28. Yeah, I mean, he was in the minors for a minute or two. But he went to Fresno State, you know? All right. Curtis says he emailed you about Mando pre-orders being up. I have to get a case of that myself. Dylan Cease, dual relic and autograph, White Sox, Matt Gomes. Mando. Love that Carl Weathers is in the Mandalorian. Mando. Those are artist proof. It's not. Pete Alonzo frame. And JD Martinez Bat Kings. That'll be for Joe. No, I'm sorry. Check that. Mark. And the Red Sox. Joe Lancaster's name is right next to him. Right-handed hitting first baseman drafted in the first round. Frank Tom... Oh, had MLB had the list up. Zach Proshan, what's going on? Boba Shett, dual relic, 63 out of 99. Boba Shett or Boba Fett? That goes to uh, Joe Flores in the Blue Jays. He's having a nice break.
Got Logan Allen, dual relic and autograph for Cleveland. That's going to go to Carlos in the tribe. And the final box, ladies and gentlemen, good luck. AJ Puck, dual relic, 75 out of 99. Jason K and the A's. He's supposed to be a pretty solid flamethrower here. Reminiscent of big unit, Randy Johnson. Tall, lanky guy, long hair. Imposing. Trust me, she'll like it too. Frank Thomas, that's what he says. Nico Horner. Nice. Dual relic and autograph. The second one, I think, for the Cubs. 39 out of 99. That's Roy with the Cubbies. Some better color in this particular one, too. No, I think you're on I think you're on time now, Jason K. Thank you. to the end of our last box. Jackie Robinson. We've got a Clayton Kershaw and a Tony Gwynn right here at the end. That was 12 box, inner case, random team two of the brand new 2020 Panini Diamond Kings baseball. We've got some more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com right there. So check it out. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Oh, why don't we do a quick recap too? Might as well. It's sort of a longer break. Got to get those recaps in. Breaks that are maybe around 45 minutes and up, which this is. Oh, we're at 37 minutes, but we got Nick's help. All right, so not too shabby. Nice Clayton Kershaw right there. And we started off with that Raphael Devers downtown cards and there you go thanks everybody joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com i'll see you next time for the next break bye bye